hope you're all having a fantastic day. Today I just wanted to get on and ask you, have you ever tried dating yourself? Have you ever taken that time, especially in between relationships, have you ever just stopped for a little bit and just turned your attention towards yourself and really given yourself all of the attention and love that you deserve? It might be a good idea to try that, if, even if you're still in the relationship. If the relationship is toxic and you're asking for what you need from your partner and they're not able or willing to give it to you, that doesn't mean that you go without, right? You can give that to yourself. And I think we need to get into the mindset that we deserve that. So whether our partner's giving it to us or not, we should know that we deserve it. And we deserve it enough that we give it to ourselves, right? So, you know, there's certain activities that I love to do that my husband doesn't like to do and vice versa. And I know that there's times when he probably wishes that I would do that, those things with him and I wish that he would do things with me um, because sometimes it just feels like it's a little bit lonely when you're doing these activities without your person. The, the difference is though is that if you start to do those things for yourself then you recognize that you're doing them to fill your soul and those are necessary to your well-being. That doesn't mean that your partner is going to want to do those things and that it's going to feed them in the same way, right? So there should be things that you do, that you have in your life that are just for you, right? So I see in a lot of relationships, um, especially when they go south, that the per when, when things sort of, you know, break up, there's often a person who's left feeling like their whole world has been shattered. And the thing is, is that if you put all of your energy and all of your attention into this one person and immerse yourself in their world, then when they leave or when the relationship doesn't work out, it does feel like your whole world is crumbling because they were your whole world. And so it's it's not a healthy balance in and, and it creates a really unhealthy dynamic. It puts a lot of pressure on that person to be everything and, and to do everything for you and provide you with all for all your needs. And that's not fair. But you know, the the flip side is, you know, we shouldn't just let them off the hook from meeting any of our needs, right? So there's a there's a, an important balance to be had, right? There's there's that middle way where you know you and your partner have some shared and goals and dreams, and you're working towards uh, you know certain things together. You have some shared activities that you enjoy doing together, and then you have other things in your life to fill yourself up with. And I think that when you're, especially if you're new to a breakup, it's really important that you reconnect with yourself. So start dating you. Because the whole point of dating is to get to know someone intimately and to really understand who they are and what brings them pleasure and what pleases them and what makes them feel cherished and nourished, right? So sometimes we can get disconnected from that knowledge of ourselves, especially when we're in a toxic relationship. So relearning who you are can be deeply healing. And so take a pause. And if you're going to date anyone, date yourself. So I hope this helps in some way. Um, if you're struggling with not getting your needs met, and you're caught in a loop where you're you're not allowing yourself or not availing yourself of other resources that could maybe meet those needs. I think it's important to figure out why, right? What's holding you there in this place of unmet expectations and unmet needs? And once we sort of figure that out, 
I think then it becomes easier to figure out how to fill your life up in a meaningful way with relationships and community that heals you because that's how we heal. We heal in community and it's important that we not isolate ourselves from that healing um, energy. So I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Have you dated yourself? Uh, what was that experience like? What did you learn about yourself through that experience? And um, yeah, and just anything that you'd like to share about that, that would be fantastic. So thank you and have a great rest of your day. Namaste.